It's like a lower income neighborhood, y'all. Uh, but the good thing about these neighborhoods is how much money we can make on Section 8. What you guys have the opportunity to do is swoop into a property like this where it's currently being mismanaged, not getting the income potential it should. You take on the existing inherited tenants who are clearly not going to be the best tenants in the world, but they do have a consistent history of paying rent. Okay, this is a bedroom. Oh, my, my. Big dog. <laughs> Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch to you, giving it to you straight. It's all about Section 8 in the Cleveland market, folks, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's all about Section 8, man, because Section 8 for us investors is pretty much a gravy train, right? And the people that don't utilize Section 8, folks, uh, those are the people that are missing out on how to properly invest in low-income neighborhoods, right? Take this property that I have for you guys uh, today, 3221 West 88th. I'm sure my guys have probably popped up the chart right next to me up in this region right here. And now, because they're such seamless, glorified, beautiful, glorious editors. I said glorified. It was glorious, right? Glorious. Wow. They're probably not going to edit this part out of the monologue, though. It's probably still going to be in the video because I'm pretty much one take Jimmy. Y'all could just call me one take Jimmy. Anywho, at some point, uh, my, my crafty man, Tyler, has probably thrown up some type of drone footage for you. Uh, to reflect this particular neighborhood, right? 3221 West 88th, right? It's like a lower income neighborhood, y'all. Uh, but the good thing about these neighborhoods is how much money we can make on Section 8. But not every investor is doing that, right? And that and that's kind of the crux of like this particular investment here today, right? If they were already rocking the Section 8 program, already rocking that $1,200 in market rent that this thing's getting right now, what it should be getting from Section 8, you wouldn't be able to buy it for only $59K, right? You only need like $20,000 out of your pocket, have the bank uh, lend you the rest, right? You couldn't pick up this property for 20 k out of your pocket if you're already banking those $1,200 Section 8 checks, right? So what you get is it's really nice uh, to be able to pick these properties up where the particular seller, you know, just mom and pop sellers are not managing them uh, to their highest level of earning potential, right? I mean, it's just kind of like a mismanagement that allows you guys to pick it up cheaper because they're only bringing in 750 right now. They should be getting uh, 1200 right? And that that's the investment, folks. That's what you're buying, right? You're not, like, buying the greatest, nicest house in the history of the world, right? Like, obviously, as you could see uh, from the outside, how these people maintain their yard, uh, you got some, like, you know, kind of rough tenants, right? Don't, like, anticipate these folks to be the greatest tenants in the world and like they're going to be like oh it's so great oh, hey mr landlord everything's awesome i love paying increased rent please increase my rent right like when you're in these neighborhoods right you're going to be getting like difficult tenants that uh don't always uh want to take care of their properties as nice as we would like them to but that's the name of the game with low income investing so what you really need to do though is you need to maximize your level of rent uh, by getting tenants who are on the Section 8 voucher program, right? Because, like, that that backyard looking like total shit, right? Like, you're probably like, oh, I'm not really feeling that, right? And to be honest with you, for $59.9 and the backyard looking like that and them treating my property like that and only getting seven fifty in rent for all of eternity, I would probably not be happy either. But that pill becomes a lot easier to swallow when I'm getting government-guaranteed $1,200 rent checks. But again... If that was already happening, I wouldn't be able to sell it to you guys for only $59.9. I'd probably need to sell it to you for like twenty twenty five k more than that, right? So what you guys have the opportunity to do is swoop into a property like this where it's currently being mismanaged, not getting the income potential it should. You take on the existing inherited tenants who are clearly not going to be the best tenants in the world, but they do have a consistent history of paying rent. What you want to do then is slowly increase their rents up to that 1200 mark. Now, these are not Section 8 tenants, but... What you want to do, in my opinion, the most profitable way to do this would be, you know, like every year, maybe raise their rent like $150 or $200. And if they stay, great. You don't have to fix up the property. Just keep rocking it. Keep collecting your cash flow. 
keep getting them as close to 1,200 as you can. If you eventually get them to 1,200 and they never moved out, that's awesome. That's bonus points. That's a win. You are doing very good. You are now making a killing off of this property. If at some point they do move out, that's really not a bad thing for you either because then what you're going to do is go back into the property, fix it up again, and then rent it to Section 8 tenants for $1,200 a month, and you're back to where you need to be, right? That's the end goal, buying it for $59.9 and then getting $1,200 in rent. I would like to be able to get you that $1,200 in rent without having to do a turnover and clean up all the mess on the outside and then fix up the inside. Although I will say this, honestly, if you're watching this footage, right, you're looking at the outside of the house and you're expecting like a total shit show on the inside. The inside was actually uh, pleasantly surprised, right, when we got to that footage, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not perfect, of course. I'm never going to lie to you guys and tell you guys I'm selling you the Taj Mahal when I'm not. It's not perfect. It's got issues, but all in all, it looks pretty decent, like fairly well taken care of on the inside. I just wouldn't have expected that after seeing how freaking terrible the yard is. So that was a little bit of a bonus. But what you have to understand is you don't want to be in a rush to just get rid of the 750 tenant, right? Because Getting rid of that tenant to get yourself the $1,200 tenant is going to cost you a decent amount of money. You got to clean up the outside, then you got to get everything on the inside, even though, again, it's not that bad. Uh, you still got to get like fresh paint, and there's nicks and stuff in the walls, and you got to get it ready for new tenants, right? Like the way a house is going to be condition wise while existing tenants are in there, like there's going to be nicks and bangs in the walls and, and broken this or broken that from the tenants just like, you know, living there and stuff. Uh, once you move all their furniture out, those things really become apparent, and like new tenants are not going to go and, and deal with the imperfections left by the old tenants, right? If they move in and it's like more or less perfect and then they make the imperfections while they're there, they're not moving out because of that, uh, but they're not moving into somebody else's nicks and dings. You know what I'm saying? So the idea is to not be in a rush to get to that 1200 We all know that's the goal, but you really want to get to that goal without having to do unnecessary turnovers. But what you focus on uh, is getting them up to that goal slowly. Don't make them move out unless it's absolutely necessary. And then if they do eventually move out, don't worry about it because you know you have the market rate being that 1200 So you're going to get there eventually. I'm just trying to explain to you to get there with as few out-of-pocket costs as you possibly can, right? And because they're not there yet, the sellers allow me to sell it to you guys for a bargain, $59.9. If you guys are interested, uh, go ahead and send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwines.com. If you want to pay cash, that's fine. Include a proof of funds and how much you want to offer. Uh, but I think you should probably finance it because why bring 60 k to the table when you only have to bring 20, 20, 40, 60? No, it's actually less. I've been saying 20 the whole video. It's actually 15, right? 15, 30, 45, 60. Yeah, you only need 15 k man. Earlier in the video, I was saying, yeah, you get this for 20. It's actually much better, right? You only need 15 k uh, The lender will loan you the other 45. And if you don't have a lender, by the way, we do have lenders. Just shoot me an email. I'll get my list of lenders, right? So send the offer sales at homelice.com. If you are using a lender and you only want to bring 15K to the table, great. Include your pre-approval letter or get one from me. Or if you do want to pay cash, include that proof of funds. Let's get you the property. If you need property management, Holton Wise, we'll take it over for you and we'll slowly raise those rents up to eventually get you to the target of 1200 for a price point of 60 k That's a banger. That's why Section 8 makes the most sense in Cleveland. Uh, one more thing before I let you get out of here. Uh, note that this property is not yet lead certified, so if you do buy it at some point, you're going to have to do the lead certification process. More info on the lead certification process can be found in my lead certification video. Uh, these are new laws in the Cleveland market. They just came out, so not a lot of people know about them. I will link that video somewhere around this video in the notes you can check that out because it's not something I could just give you the bid for the lead certification right now here today because as you'll see through that video, uh, it's kind of a lengthy process to get that handled. Uh, but either way, you're getting this property at a discount with a ton of meat on the bone. Let's go. Is this also a single? Shit. <laughs> yes, I heard it was a single. We're good. Nothing happened. We're fine. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Hi, cops. They're not cops. Right, I am. I'm fat. Is that the, oh, it's just a dog yeah. jumping against the fucking fence. Is that a dead body back there? Let me it. it. smells like weed a little bit. Oh, shit, there's a dog down here. Okay, this is a bedroom. Oh, 
Big dog. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.